It's been a bit of a hectic week this week, and <laughs> I'm sorry to say I didn't get a chance to write up a full episode of the podcast. But I still do have a couple of little things we can talk about. So this is Miscellany number two. Welcome to Blog Oklahoma. Well, here we are. Another miscellany episode. Luckily, this is only the second time I've had to reach into the miscellaneous file. It's full of those ideas I've jotted down but have not completed into a full episode, and their calendar updates, and maybe just a stray thought or two. (laughs) As many of you know, I'm a programmer and web developer by trade. This past week has been overflowing with the code. I'm in the midst of a large website project that, unfortunately, has started to come home with me. (laughs) Even after regular work hours, I'll still be thinking on a code problem or maybe a design aspect of this project. It's at the point now where I don't even want to look at a keyboard as soon as I hit my front door. But, of course, that damn iPhone is within reach and I'm writing up notes even in the middle of the night. Oh well, (laughs) that's the nature of my chosen profession. And that leads us to the podcast. I'm thinking on the project and not on the next episode. And it's been that way for the last couple of weeks. And it's likely to be that way for the next few weeks more. (laughs) Well, you've been warned. (laughs) I do have a couple of episodes in the works, but they're not ready yet. And I believe they deserve their own episode and won't be rolled into this one. So now you know what's going on. And I'm going to try my best not to miss an episode during this busy time. As I'm recording this, the big game, the Super Bowl, is going on. It's the end of another good football season. Now, of course, if Green Bay had made it to the game, we probably wouldn't be having a podcast right now. (laughs) But uh, the two teams that are in there right now, I'm just not really interested in watching, so I'm up here doing a podcast. But if your team made it, I hope they won. (laughs) You know what this means, though. It's only a matter of time before players report to camps in Arizona and Florida for one of the most exciting times of the year. That's right, MLB Spring Training! So dust off your team cap, oil up your glove, and renew that MLB TV subscription. I'm so happy baseball time is back. Everyone likes a list episode, so here we are, the top seven magazines I found on my coffee table this week. Number seven, Mother Earth News. Number six, Mary Jane's Farm. Number five, Bliss Victoria. Number four, True West Magazine. Number three, Oklahoma Today. Number two, This Land, and the number one magazine found on my coffee table this week, Betty and Veronica's Comics Double Digest. Yay! If you've never heard of any of these magazines before, I'll have a link to each of them in the show notes. I especially recommend you check out This Land. It's a publication out of Tulsa, Oklahoma, and has some excellent writing in it. And if you followed my blog month challenge over on Instagram, you would have already known what the number one pick would have been. The Great Backyard Bird Count is this February 12th through the 15th. Just count the type of birds you see in your backyard for at least 15 minutes during the weekend and then report your findings to the Great Backyard Bird Count's website. I've been participating in the Great Backyard Bird Count for the last few years now, and I find it a great way to learn what kind of birds frequent my backyard. To learn more about the Great Backyard Bird Count, just visit birdcount.org. 
just a reminder, the Oklahoma presidential preferential primary, wow, that's a lot of peace, <laughs> is Tuesday, March 1st. So please mark your calendars with big, bold letters and set a reminder on your phone to get out there and vote. You can find more information at ok.gov slash elections. Did you know we have our own cafe press store? Of course you did. You're listening to all my episodes and I mention it every episode. We have our own cafe press store. There you can purchase a coffee mug, t-shirt, tote bag, and some other great items with the Blog Oklahoma podcast artwork on it. So please just head on over to cafepress.com slash blog Oklahoma podcast. And I've added three great new tracks to the Blog Oklahoma bonus playlist. You can listen to the playlist on Spotify and YouTube. When you pull up the playlist on Spotify, be sure to click on that follow button, and then you'll get a notice every time I up to add a new track. I'll have a link to them and more in the show notes at blogoklahoma.net. And thank you for listening to the Blog Oklahoma podcast. I'm happy to announce as of February 7th, 2016, Blog Oklahoma has 897 registered Oklahoma bloggers. Your feedback is important, so please feel free to contact me with your comments or questions. You can get hold of me in a multitude of ways. Just visit blogoklahoma.net slash contact for more information. Be sure to check our show notes for all the links and bonus material from today's episode. This has been Kevin Latham for Blog Oklahoma. Until next time. (laughs) 